Pentax K-mount lenses on Canon full frame cameras without modding the lens or hitting the mirror or any of that fun stuff. <music> Hey everybody, welcome back to Frugal Photography. This gentleman posted the other day in one of the classic lens groups that he, his, uh, his mirror is getting stuck and he can't take a picture with it. Alright, so imagine you're looking from inside the camera. And this is where the top of the lens would line up with this adapter onto an EOS full frame. This would hit, the aperture tab mechanism is right here, and it would strike the mirror on its way back down. What you want to do is, you want to be able to pull this thing out, back up one full set of teeth, and put it back in. The same, it now at this point, if you're looking out from the camera, the aperture tab is now at the bottom. That clears the mirror. And that's it. You'll need a K-mount adapter, EOS K-mount adapter. Obviously a K-mount lens and a camera. Um, and then you also need some packing tape and a little screwdriver and maybe a razor blade or a knife or something. You can improvise, it's okay. Alright, get your adapter. You'll find two little screws connected to a tongue. Remove that. Next, you're going to find three teeth on the inside that lock the lens in place. Find the one with the screw. Do not remove that screw. That stops the lens from rotating. But on that tooth, on the opposite end of this, where the screw is, you need to saw it down all maybe about three sixteenths of an inch, I don't know how many millimeters that is. Next you take packing tape, layer the whole top of the uh, adapter with packing tape. Make it nice and even, put the adhesive to the adapter, not the other way. The lens is not going to stick to the adapter. Put the adhesive down on the actual adapter. Cut out the holes you need, like that. Once you get that on there, just take the lens and you slide it on. The tape causes uh, well enough pressure if you layer it enough, uh, however much you need to, it could be different for every adapter. Uh, they're all slightly branded different, who knows. But it completely turns. No issues whatsoever, it's on there. A lot of people never change the adapter from the lens they need it for, so at this point, for a lot of people, you, you know, you could leave it on there for years and never ever worry about it. So here is the way it would be normally. There is the uh, marker for alignment from the Pindex camera, which I know the aperture tab is always just right next to it. So the aperture tab is right here. Pull it out. Back it up one. Now it's right here. Lens completely, still is completely intact. Came out lens. Canon full frame. That's it. Please like and subscribe. Come join Frugal Photography on Facebook. Don't worry. I'll try to put our heads together and think of cheap stuff like this. I probably should have shared this a long time ago. I don't know why I didn't, but for the sake of showing that it works, yay!